What up, what up, what up, my people? Welcome to another of my review today. In today's review, we will be diving in into how you can prepare for your online interview. The world is changing. COVID-19 has changed a lot of things. Multinational companies, small scale companies are now conducting their uh, interviews online. I know most of you are out there looking for a better job or probably you're home right now, you haven't got a job and you just want to be ready for that interview. And so today we'll be diving in into tips that will help you to get yourself ready for the online interview. You can also apply the same thing for a face-to-face -face interview, but the main emphasis today will be on the online interview. And why am I doing this is because I was recently uh, involved in a selection process that includes uh, we uh, selecting people via the online interview. And I have done this also in the past as well. And I just want to pull all my experiences together and give you guys the tips that I think is most important. Right, guys? If you guys want to hear about those tips and the pictures that I have to show you guys today, why well, you guys see me on the other side of the intro. Let's go. Well, guys welcome back to my review today so the idea of today is for me to give you guys tips on how to prepare for your online interview now if this is your first time of watching my review this channel is all about business education it's all about tech and it's all about photography and video those are the things i review on this channel and today we're focusing on the business side of things and the whole idea is that there's a lot of people out here out there who have probably lost their job there are some people who are home right now who wants to you know move to another job or you know higher level and so most job right now interviews have been done online most people are working from home and so we need to be more prepared you know for this event of the interview now I have been part of the selection process of uh, of interview that was done online and I was also part of one that was you know done um, on a face-to-face -face basis now my disclaimer is I'm not an HR person right uh, my area is in the IT uh, obviously in photography as well so um, I work as a coach in the data analysis uh, as a data scientist uh, data marketing and business analysis but you know I've been able to be part of those people that help uh, to interview your people and I want to share my experience today and talk about the most important things that I feel you guys should watch out for and so without any further ado let's just dive straight in into these uh, tips for these interviews right so the first thing I want to talk about is obviously to make sure that your workstation you know is clean and clear now make sure that your table your works when i talk about your workstation i mean where you you know like my desk right here you can see behind me you know you make sure because the people that will be interviewing you will probably be able to see you and they'll be able to see your environment a little bit and should want to be more careful and to make sure that your environment is clean otherwise people will view you as someone who is not organized but that may not be you but you're passing on that impression you want to you don't want to put out that impression that you're not an organized person now uh, just before i go into the second uh, uh, tips i think one thing that's important before you do anything is that once you know that the in online interview is booked make sure you look into the company's website and gather all the possible information that you can gather right and also make sure that you know about the company's goals and objective i think we all must have heard this one time or the other so for the online interview this is also the same it is true and it is very very important as well now the second thing i want to talk about is audio make sure that people can hear you properly right make sure that you test your audio i am using the 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 road as you guys can see so anytime i'm doing my uh, meetings i use the road behind me uh but these are more expensive you can get the overhead headphones they, they will do the same people can as long as people can hear you properly make sure your internet is okay just make sure that your system is working because one of the issues that you face on the day is that imagine if they can hear you and they're saying hello hello what are you saying what are you saying and they can hear you and that will put you in at a disadvantage so i think is very very important that you make sure you do that now the third thing i want to mention is removing all kind of distraction now make sure that there's no distraction in your area right say for instance you're having 
you forgot to take out to take a brush let's say a brush off maybe to you use to brush your teeth or even your hair or cream or something like that i'm not saying you're not human but these things are just like uh though it's just, it's like negligence they will think you're careless so probably you don't want people to see things like that or any other thing that you may think of just make sure that those distractions are away even from you know the, the, the scene because you remember that the people seeing you uh, from the online will be looking at you but sometimes the, their eyes will wander around so you want to make sure that you're, there's no distraction now the next thing I wanted to say is that um, always focus on the questions that have been asked you so because it's an online sometimes it could probably take less or uh, longer than uh, a face-to-face -face one but if you focus on the question being asked and you're not you're not wandering around I think that will play to your advantage what I have witnessed in what when I was part of the interview is that the people that did well in those interview are those people that answer the questions now one thing you have to be careful for is don't make it a close ended questions are uh, answers so when you answer the questions don't be saying oh okay yes if they say uh, do you do it and yes and that is it you know uh, if you have ever attended an interview the purpose of this interview is to also make conversation but so you still need to make some little bit of conversation at least one sentence or two uh, to wrap up your yes or no uh, don't just say yes and leave it like that i think it, it's, it's good to make those con uh, those uh, uh, sentences to make sure that you know you're you know having a conversation conversation and you know and it's open ended right and so that's another tip I think is very very crucial for you whether even you're doing online or face to face it doesn't matter this is very important right um, the other thing I want to talk about is you you're practicing before your interview itself before the actual interview itself I think it's good for you to kind of you know do it with your friend you know or someone that's probably whoever you can get to do it with person can call you on any system that they know they'll be using for instance if the interview will be on zoom uh try the person to call you on zoom and you can the person can ask you questions just some related questions and you just do practice and let your friend or whoever it is give you some feedback they are your friends i know it might not be that effective but it could also help in one way or the other so and that will also help you to test your audio you can ask the person how was my audio how was my this of my environment you will be able to know all these answers if you are able to do that kind of testing right so i think that's another very important thing uh, that you can do the other thing i want to also mention is also making sure that you know you have a good system you know where you know what the organization require you know what they would like you to have you know maybe some organization will provide you these things as you go along but at least they have they expect you to have something you know if you are applying for an IT job and for instance you don't have any laptop or you don't have any you know things like that and you want to get they, 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 they will not believe you it's hard to believe you without having you know so you know whatever you are doing you have to be you know um, you know at least show them that you have substance some a little bit of substance you know and then people will believe you now the the other thing I want to say also in addition to uh, what I've mentioned is that we, uh, on the day of the interview, make sure that you are very, um, you talk about your achievement. Your achievement is very important. Say for instance, I am a digital marketing person. I have worked on digital transformation with other organizations and I work as an individual person and within a team. I would I will I need to highlight those achievements. I need to talk about what I have done and I think I need to talk about what the success were. Maybe some of the challenges is good, but let the opportunity arise for you to do that. Don't just you know jump into it and start talking about it, you know. Make sure that the opportunity arise for you to talk about your achievement and make sure that you go straight to the, those achievements and talk about them and you're able to nail uh you know the, those things in the head. So I think that is also uh very, very important. The other thing I want to add is you know uh, you know you have you know to be a big confident about not no don't come don't be overconfident or proud come on don't be proud or don't let them perceive you as a proud person but what I'm trying to say is that you have to show them that you know you have to let them know that you understand what you're talking about and you know what you're doing um, because sometimes there's no time for to be testing people but the way you answer the way you talk is very very important and you know they might ask you for keywords and things like that so make sure you memorize or not just memorize but you understand the keywords are involved in your job and you know those things and how you can demonstrate them i think these things 
are very important on top of all that all i can say to you is that you know just you know you have to constantly update your uh, cv you know uh, if you're without a job i know it could be difficult but you need to update your cv even and you also i always tell people even as i am right now i'm still attending some training or i still i still attend some training personally to for personal development all all organizations are looking for people who are always constantly developing themselves remember that some people have never done any form of training in the last five years or six years people will see you as someone who is on the same spot you know you know you have to show people that look i have gone for this training i've gone for that training i'm improving myself you know i know what i'm doing you know and you know be be appreciative you know before the interviewer before they leave make sure you appreciate the, the opportunity they've given you whether you get a job or not but remember they will give, they might give you positive feedback and all that i went for an interview this was a while ago with an energy company it was a good pay uh i had the online first and i went and I, then I I had a face to face and one of the things for feedback I got I didn't get the job uh, but thank God I got another job because I had like three or five at that time but I wanted this one more because it would allow me to travel all over the places and all those things and that would have at, at that point in time I, I actually loved that one but the, one of the things that is that they were looking for people that are very fun but when they did the online interview for me they felt I was very engaged and very fun but when I did the face to face it was quite different like they felt like I was like <laughs> A double person and I wasn't like that probably I was a bit nervous I can't remember what happened but you know you get what I mean so you know um, you have to be engaging you have to be you know depending on what your job and everything is you know just make sure you engage and you know you're not looking uh, you know when they're talking to you make sure you're looking into the camera you're not always around and it's, it's difficult these things I'm saying but I know you can get ready and you can prepare for that interview and i know that some of you out there you know um those interview that you're looking for will come soon and you will get that job we just have to be ready right guys now guys that's it, my review today you know i have so many other reviews out there if you want to go and watch them uh please help me subscribe like i said make sure you subscribe i think you need to share this with your family and friends so make sure you go ahead and share this video with your family and friends and also you know click on the notification bell as well thank you for watching my review this weekend i appreciate you guys until next week i see you guys i say bye bye and enjoy